I've received a lot of questions about the bird's eye view Firefly 6, my latest video with Ava firmware, and the questions relate to using this for mapping purposes. And unfortunately, the weather is miserable outside and I can't do a field demo. So what I wanna do is a precursor to that and talk to you guys a little bit about the mapping setup. And many of you have asked, does this support a downward facing camera? And as you can see, it does. Now this is actually the camera mount for the Canon S110. That's what I'm going to be flying with initially, but there are also mounts for Sony and Samsung cameras. I've gone ahead and mounted the S110 just so you guys can see it. There's a Velcro strap that holds it into the mount as well as this bolt that keeps it nice and snug. You can see the rubber dampening balls and camera pointed straight down. Now, if you're gonna do this mapping setup, you will notice that I did have to cut a decent part of this bottom bay area out. Now, originally this came down at an angle. It had a little bit of a recessed area where you could put a GoPro down, but since I'm not going to be doing any FPV or video, went ahead and did this modification so I could do mapping with the Firefly 6. And you'll notice the USB trigger cable that goes up through the Firefly 6 and plugs into PixHawk. Here's the other side of that cable. This is the bottom part that goes down and plugs into our S110. And then this is the other end. These are connected with servo connectors. This goes to auxiliary port 6 on the PixHawk. And definitely check this cable out. It's very handy, very nice and compact. It's from Mobile X Copter but I believe that Bird's Eye View will be selling this in their online store. As I mentioned earlier, I have this connection going to auxiliary port six on the PixHawk. You must have, as it says here, five volts on that servo rail. So I have a five volt BEC plugged into one of the auxiliary ports so that we can get that five volt. So make sure you guys do that or else this won't work. Now, let me go ahead and quickly demonstrate how you set this up and we'll take a look at this remote trigger. So I'm going to go ahead and launch CHDK. I'll put a link to a previous video that I did that talks about setting your camera up for CHDK. And then next, I use the 3DR EAI script. This is the Exposure Aperture ISO script and it's a derivative of the very popular CAP UAV script. So I go ahead and use this version just because it's what I'm familiar with. There's a ton of settings in here, but the one of most importance just to be able to remotely trigger this based on distance is this trigger type. So you're going to want to set that to USB. Now you can see if I press the shutter button, it actually starts the script and says it's waiting on a USB signal. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at that setup. Okay, so I have the Firefly 6 Planner set up. Now this is a scaled down version of Mission Planner with additional features to support the Firefly 6. So I'm going to go ahead and connect. Stabilize mode. If you've watched any of my previous videos on setting up your camera trigger based on GPS distance, you'll know that we'll go to the parameter list and we'll set up the trigger type as well as the relay pin. Now that's already taken care of for you and the best that I can tell, it's not actually exposed here. It appears to be hard coded in the firmware so you don't even have to mess with that. You just make sure that your camera is connected to auxiliary pin six. Now with the 3DR EAI script running, I'll go here in Firefly six planner on the main screen, I'll select trigger camera now and you can see that the photo is taken. So you can see that the bird's eye view guys made it super simple to set this up without having to mess with a bunch of parameters. And let me just show you the trigger distance that in the next video, we're going to plan a mission and based on altitude and speed, this is the value that will get set and be able to trigger using this remote trigger cable and CHDK. So that's a high level overview of all the components with the Firefly 6. 
that make it possible to do aerial mapping. And I'm looking forward to the next video where we use the Firefly 6 Planner with the AVA firmware and CHDK to do fully autonomous aerial mapping with this VTOL setup. If you guys have any questions or comments, please post them below. And until next time, thanks for watching.